All right, so let's get started building up the game engine. This is the first tutorial for the space shooter. Uh, the tutorial before this is an introduction that will be released at the very end of the series. So everything's complete. So I'll show you what the files are. So you would have watched that first, but I'm doing this one before that one. So my resource folder will be a little bit different than yours so if you see something different that's because I'm doing the introduction at the very end that'll be the last video I'm doing okay so this tutorial has been done a year and a half ago it has been done in PDF format if you go to the main website on the right side you see XNA Complete Games 2 Space Shooter it's about a year and four months, year and a half, 8.04.2008. There's a PDF tutorial. There's the sprites. There's the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to, since this is a year and a half old, most of you probably have already seen this. And instead of me just going, reading off the tutorial and doing the video on that, I'm going to increase the, um, increase the functionality of the game a little bit so it's a little bit different and also I'll be releasing some extras how to make a background for the menu system how to add a cool hit effect when the player gets hit and how to avoid how to make the enemies avoid hitting each other and additional extras if I think we have time enough and if I think of an extra later on I'll update the zip file and just go from there but for the sake of the tutorial it's just going to be what you've already seen in the PDF if you read that. But we're going to increase the functionality a bit since I already did two parts of this already in the X and Advanced Techniques samples. We did the menu system and we did the screen system. So we're going to grab the advanced menu system and the advanced screen system. If you want a detailed explanation, check out the panels tutorial. Check out the PDF tutorial of this on how to do the screen system and a menu system since I've done this so many times before I'm not going to bother wasting your time doing that we're just going to have to go ahead and download the advanced stuff okay so on the main website phstudios.com on the right side you see XNA advanced technique samples we click that the uh, the files you want are the advanced screen system and the advanced menu system so right click those go to save target as and save it on your desktop or wherever you want to download it alright so once those are downloaded you want to extract them and then we want to generate a new project and we're just worried about the files in here we don't want to grab the solution and this one has only the files in it so let's launch Visual Studio and let's create a new project it's going to be XNA Game Studio 3.1 Windows Game 3.1 and let's call it Space Shooter Tutorial and once that generates Go to your desktop, find the files you want, let's grab the, both the input system and the folder of the screen manager and drag it inside the solution. So inside, oh, hover over Space Shooter Tutorial, not the solution but the project and release it. So now it's inside your project, not the solution. Now for the other one for the menu system we need to go inside the folder let's drag the menu entry let's drag the input system but that's already been generated from the screen system so we don't need that and just add the screen manager folder take the menu system inside of your project we already have a menu system so delete that click OK and drag the new menu system inside the screen manager folder 
And that should be it. If we find out we need something else, we'll go back to there. All right, and just like always, any file you drag from a different f folder to your project, you need to make their namespaces equal. So let's go into game1.cs, copy its namespace value, namespace is space shooter tutorial, and let's go through every file we just dragged in and change its namespace to the same thing.